on our way to Kuna Beach. Kuna Beach. <laughs> Kim Kuna Beach is located within the Barham Coast National Park on the east coast of Bundaberg, Queensland, Australia. It's a beautiful long stretch of rural beach that is well over 10 kilometers long. Where we camped at Kim Kuna camping area is in the Kim Kuna section of the park and is accessible only by high clearance four-wheel drive. There are no facilities here, so remember to bring your shovels. We arrived just before dark, so we had to quickly set up camp so I couldn't get much filming in. I did manage to get some awesome drone shots of the area though. last night so I ended up freezing my ass off. I had to put my washing on me to keep cold. It was one of the worst sleeps I've ever had. This is trying to make some coffee. morning so we are just sitting here chilling watching the sun uh, as it rises it seems like as Bundaberg has really hidden gems yeah man underrated for sure but look at this sunrise man I want to tell you guys something about Eddie had a traumatic experience with what I had so um, I had this incident where I saw this child get caught in the rip it was a freak whip so, and, and they came out of nowhere. So I uh, decided to help and um, when I got to the kid, he was, in, you know, he was in fear. Didn't know what to do and we were both getting swept out and I had to swim quite hard to get him back to the ocean and, and because I used all my energy, um, I started cramping up and, and I got caught back in the rib. Um, so I got pulled out and uh, I was left to only float, so I just floated for a good 30 minutes until the life life savers came and and got me on the tinny. But it was a pretty pretty scary um, experience because um, here in Queensland we always hear um, get education about um, beach safety and ocean safety. Um, and I can swim, so it can happen to anyone. Like I actually thought I was going to drown, but I just had the thought of trying to extend my time as much as possible so what did you do so i just went on my back and 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 try and ensured that i i kept a certain amount of air and oxygen in my in my lungs because like if you exhale and this is how a lot of people drown is that 
they don't realize that having as much oxygen and air in your lungs you can float um, and obviously trying and, and paddling at a at a rhythm um, so that's what I did so I did that and remained on my back and as soon as I heard it I heard the tinnies come with the lifesavers in it and they came and got me oh bro I'm glad that you made it out of that man uh, well I'm glad too so ever since then ever since I go to like every time I go to the beach I always look out for rips and where you can identify them yeah. so you look out for the bubbles on calm water and where the waves don't break that's why it's important to always swim between the flags and not go too far out where you can lose your footing and this child was quite small so it was quite easy for him to be swept out you guys both made it out we made it out nice bunch of girls are pulling out a bog guy on his own. You can help him? I can. Alright.
Hey guys, we just finished up at camp, we're about to pack up, go home. Thank you guys for watching.